Hi guys, welcome to Wake Up in Provincetown's local character segment of the week. This week we are here with the incredible Brian Raffinelli. Um, he is the event planner to the stars. Um, we are here <laughs> at Firehouse Number no. 1, uh, Brian's residence, um, one of the most iconic locations in P-Town, right at the curve on Commercial Street. Wow. What's it like living in a firehouse? Well, look, I, I think the first thing that's so funny uh, about living in a firehouse is everybody thinks there's a pole in the firehouse, and there isn't, just about there isn't this kind of pole in the firehouse, <laughs> right? So I'm always, and my mother, who like, I actually have all these firehouse antiques everywhere, because my mother gives me all these fire hats and hoses, and she's like, I'm searching for a pole, and I'm like, Mom, there was never a pole. Right. Um, what's so great is like, I, I people pass by every single day, and they're like, was this a firehouse? And I'm like, yes, it was built in 1868, and the fire trucks used to back into the house and there was only one story and from what I hear is all the guy did here was party all the time um, <laughs> there weren't that many fires so nothing's changed <laughs> right so nothing's changed <laughs> but honestly I never imagined that I would live in this house that has its own soul right its own heart um, and and that's that's a great thing I feel very lucky to protect it for now like we get to see this this place and make it vibrant and tell the stories of what's going on here um, I love it I really do. And you always have your golden retriever out on yeah, the patio. Yeah, George Clooney, oh. most beautiful golden retriever in the world. Right. Um, and uh, yeah, he sits out front and uh, between the fire trucks and George Clooney, um, you know, that, that's what my day is all about. Very cute. Very <laughs> cute. And you recently released your first book this past September, A Great Party, Designing the Perfect Celebration. Um, and speaking of perfect celebrations, the forward is by Chelsea Clinton. Yeah. You planned her perfect wedding in 2010. <laughs> it was perfect. It was, yeah. <laughs> it was really um, incredible. What was it like working with one of the most powerful families in the world? Look, I, I, actually, when people ask me what's my favorite event, I, I have to shift to that wedding. Because think about what we're doing. Uh, a former American president, a, a, Secretary of State actually was in office, and then Chelsea Clinton, their only daughter. Um, it, it was it was mind boggling. I pinched myself. I still pinch myself every day. But going through it, I kept on feeling like I was in some kind of weird dream. Like oh, I couldn't yeah. believe it. It was really incredible experience. And with a party like that comes a lot of logistics, I'd imagine. Well, I, weddings come with a lot of <laughs> logistics, well, of course, right? But like um, times ten, I'd imagine. Yeah, I mean, when you think about so you think about the security. You had the Secret Service, you have diplomatic service for the secretary, and then actually Chelsea's protected as well. So that alone was dealing with all these entities, finding the perfect place that nobody knew about. Guests found out about that wedding the Tuesday before the wedding. Like all the guests, like wow. we picked up the phone and like, hey, you're going to this place. This is where it's going like, to be. Like that's the kind of military operation we got to run. I mean, I would I would love to do that again and again. Oh yeah, totally. That sounds incredible. Really, so I'm waiting for Sasha and Malia to perfect. Get married. <laughs> <laughs> um, so within your book, um, you feature your own birthday party you threw right here in Providence right here in at Town Hall. Um, That's really cool. Day, well, I mean, yeah, honestly, I love P Town. I've been coming here since the early '80s. I had my portrait painted here when I was 13 years old. My aunts and uncles would bring my brothers and sisters here to have our portraits painted. So to celebrate my 50th birthday at Town Hall on a, a day like today. Um, in that beautiful renovated space, it was it was killer. It was like a rockin' party. And so every time I walk by Town Hall, I get to think about that. Right. I mean, you put, Provincetown knows how to throw a party. You clearly know how to throw a party. You put those together, <laughs> and wow, it must yeah. have been incredible. It was, it was one for the history books, for sure. So, Brian, over the years, you've brought so many really powerful political players right here to Provincetown to show them what our community values are and how this is a very politically active town. Um, who are some of the people you brought to town? So uh, I brought, actually, Vice President Biden came here. He was campaigning for Obama. And we did a big event on at the monument. And then we brought Hillary here twice. Second time was Cher. Mm. Um, and then we also brought Pete Buttigieg here, which was like ridiculously dynamic. You know, a, a thousand people at town hall. No donation, no contribution. And people were all on the streets. And it was really, every single person said the same thing about coming to a real place with real people that cared about their community, cared about their country. And so the idea of being able to do that, it, you know, I, it, it was like an elixir for me of like, I want to bring them here. I want to show them what real life is all about, what, what real people do every single day. And what an iconic matchup of like one of the first out men running for president to come to one of the, I'm going to say it, the queer capital of the world. <laughs> You're right. The you world. know what his real story is? That he had been to the <laughs> town once before. He went to a Christian camp, and they camped out on Long Point. It wow. is so wild. So he was sitting out on my little wharf out there, 
and saying, I, I camped right out there. I thought it was the wildest story. That's so and cool. Never came into town, by the way. So. And that was as a child? As a child, okay. yeah. Okay. So I imagine he had a slightly different experience <laughs> very, as a person very, running for president. But what was the coolest thing? I mean, Pete walked down Commercial Street, said hello to everybody, um, and, you know, took selfies, blah, blah, blah. But, but there was a real connection of really understanding what this town was all about. Mm -hmm. He felt it. You know, we sat back actually here on this porch and talked for two hours all about, you know, what this town was about and what we were doing. That's incredible. Yeah. Um, what was, like, when you're standing in a room with Hillary Clinton and Cher, like, I just imagine the energy of that room is palpable. <laughs> well, and there was a thousand people in the crowd, and I, I, I'll never forget it, of like looking over the bay, you know, because we were up at the monument, and I was like, this just is outrageous, this idea of, you know, these two icons, you know, adore Cher, but I, I'm madly in love with Hillary. Right. Um, and, and actually bringing a friend, you know, I did Chelsea's wedding, we're friends, so, you know, I do all the family's events, to bring her to this place, that she wanted to come to, you know, that it was so sweet. She's like, show me your house, show me your town. Um, so that idea of doing that and then giving that back and being able to like, hey, yay, we got Hillary here. Right. right. That, was, that was something. So Brian, we're in an election year um, and as a queer creative, what do you think is the most pressing issue that people should be focusing on going into this incredibly important election? Well, look, there is only one issue out there and that is, if it's an issue, it's winning. Like, we must win this election. I want people to think about this idea of waking up the day after the election and Trump winning. That is terrifying. That was hard I mean, enough once. Right, but, yeah. I mean, but twice. So we must, must win. All these conversations about, you know, the candidates and, and their personalities, and it's like, no, we must win. We must get out the vote. Everybody needs to vote. Everybody needs to vote early. They really have to figure this out. They cannot take it for granted. So much for um, joining me for a chat this lovely day. Um, if you all are located in Provincetown, you can pick up a great party designing the perfect celebration by Brian Raffinelli um, right here in town at East End Books. And if you're not local, you can check out Brian's Instagram. It's at Brian Raffinelli um, for more details on where you can scoop up this amazing book.